Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're gonna talk about catfish reels. And I'm not talking about which one's the best or which one to buy. I'm gonna talk about repairing, restoring, maintaining, upgrading, tweaking the reel that you've already got. At the 2020 Catfish Conference, I sat down with Chris and Corey from Pipeline Tackle. They have a business down in Alabama that works on fishing reels. A lot of the popular brands that a lot of us use to chase and catch catfish, uh, especially the Abu Garcia reels. And uh, these guys are just regular fishermen, just like you and I, and that's where they got their start. Well, we started out on Wheeler Lake uh, bank fishing. Uh, many years, you know, lots of years ago when we was young, we started bank fishing. Um, our stepdad took us out, we'd catch shad at the dam. Uh, we'd stand on the bank, you know, 10 rods, that kind of stuff. And as we grew more and more, um, you know, we eventually got a boat. But uh, the need for uh, casting distance was important then when we was on the bank. So we had a, a desire to try to figure out how to get, you know, further out to the channel. Well, like a lot of us, they didn't start out with the best tackle available. They started out a little on the cheap side. Well, we started out with like a Walmart Tidewater, you know. And of course, the Tidewaters are big and clunky. Uh, we couldn't get any good casting distance uh, and of course the drag sucked so um, it, it, it evolved into the better gear but at first no we had we had cheap gear well if you've ever done any work on a reel uh, you will know that once you get one apart there's a whole lot of screws and a whole lot of gears and a whole lot of stuff that you may not know where exactly it goes so i asked them what it was like the first time they tore a reel apart. The first time we tore one apart and it, it was all because we were trying to figure out you know how to go about it. I wanted to figure out how we could service them ourselves. Um, didn't have a whole lot of money then for the, the expensive gear so I got to figure out how to service these myself or how to take an old Abu and kind of part it out to so where I could afford an Abu and that's how it all really got started and when I first tore one apart I guess um, it was a bit confusing. Of course, there is a lot of help on YouTube and stuff, you know, that kind of gets you going. And uh, that kind of that kind of helped us get started. One of the things I asked them was, what was your motivation for starting this business? We've been servicing reels for a couple of years before we ever hit YouTube, and it was locally for friends and stuff around Wheeler Lake. And uh, we kind of seen we had a knack for it. Um, started out, we only get a couple of reels a week, you know, and it was really a, a, a side thing. And then it evolved to where like all the guys locally was bringing the stuff. And then um, from there, you know, we kind of hit Facebook and, that, and that's what it really took off. What we try to do is we try to stick with the main brands, Abu, Penn, Shimano, uh, Daiwa, stuff like that. When we get into some of the other brands, sometimes it's a little harder to get parts and stuff like that for us. So we try to stick with the stuff we know we can get, we know we can fix. Uh, quality stuff is what we try to stick with, stick with. Well, if you're like me, you may own a lot of used reels or be looking to buy some used reels to get into some of the more expensive reels at an affordable price point. So I asked these guys what to look for when buying a used Real. If you're looking for a 6500, what you kind of want to look for is make sure it's got five a five point star drag. If you get into the four point star drag, it's going to be in the 80s models. It's going to have a smaller drag system. Uh, the spool shaft is going to be long and it's going to ride on the bearings on each end. Therefore, you're going to have more flex in the spool shaft. Um, they're going to be slower. Uh, they have no, no instant anti-reverse in that era. So anything post 92, uh, Abu started putting the instant anti-reverse bearings in and that's kind of what you want because those are the most upgradable reel. You can get the biggest pressure on the drag, uh, you get the, the best bearing options and the worm gears and everything, you can just upgrade to the max. So you want a post 92 model. Now one of the things I've seen people do is overuse the reel, overfish it, uh, basically using it outside and above the range that it is designed for. And I asked these guys what can happen if you do that. When you overfish, first of all, you're gonna, you're gonna end up drying your reels out, so they're not gonna be lube, causing wear. Um, your level winds are only gonna last a certain amount of time. I don't care what brand it is. So when you keep on and you never oil it or you never grease it, you're gonna wear it, it's gonna break. Uh, when you're taking heavy lines, especially the Abus, if you're wrapping your heavy braids around and you're pulling against them, you're gonna warp your frames, you're gonna, you're gonna mess your reels up. Um, so the main thing is if you're not maintaining your reels, they're gonna wear, they're gonna break, they're gonna squeal, they're gonna grind. So uh, maintenance 
is very important. Well, not everybody has the money to send a reel into the guys at Pipeline to work on. So I ask them, what can you do at home? What kind of preventive maintenance can you do yourself to keep your reels in good working order? It's easy to maintain your reels at home. Um, you, you need to always keep in consideration of the grime and stuff in your worm gear. If you can keep that kind of cleaned out and oiled, it's going to help in the long run. Um, it's easy to take an ABU apart. You could take the three crown screws apart and you could disassemble the reel and you can check your cog gears and you could check your spool bearings and everything. Keep a little oil on them. If you see something dry or squealing, put a little drop of oil on it. It's easy, it's not rocket science. Well, if you've never worked on a reel before and you decide to do it at home, you might go reaching for a can of WD-40. No, no, no WD-40. No, no WD <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe WD-40 is a bad thing to use. So I ask them, what are some of the things that you do to keep the reels lubricated? We use TSI 321 bearing oil, which is, a, is pretty common, and a lot of reel guys use it. Uh, it's fast, it's great on ceramics or stainless. Um, you can find it, you can find it at our shop, or you can find it on eBay too, it's pretty common. But uh, that's our, that's our go-to bearing oil, and uh, simply gun oil can work on the, um, the, the worm gears. Now I'm sure everybody wants to know, what does it cost to get a reel tuned up? Well, I asked the guys and they kind of explain the range of pricing that they have. Uh, I mean, we kind of start out somewhere around the $15 mark for your basic clean and maintenance. Uh, we do a deep clean, so we're going to break them 100% down. We're not going to half break the, the reel down. We're going to break it completely down. We're going to run it through ultrasonic cleaners. And then we're going to put our greases and oils in it, which are superior to the factory stuff. So we started the services around 15. Um, we can go up to our services all the way up to like $110, and that's for the super tuned stuff. That's with all the bearings, six to eight bearings, you know, the full drags, um, polishing. Uh, the, the tune work gets kind of expensive. But uh, a common tune is somewhere around the $50 mark, and that's going to get you ceramic bearings, polished job, going to get you the drags and all that good stuff, carbon drags. So, All right, the new Abus have done a pretty good job. Um, they, they're starting to put carbons in there. The carbon matrix from Abu is, is nice, and it's better than the old drags. The old drags was, uh, was kind of like a vinyl-type material, and uh, you would be lucky to get 8, 10 pounds out of your older model Abus, and they'd get real sticky and jerky, and they'd load up and release. So. Um, now, with the technology we have now, especially from smooth drag, um, we can get up to 18, 20 pounds on a 6,500, which is a significant improvement. And um, uh, the 7,000s, we're probably getting somewhere closer to 30. Now, one thing I've had people private message me about is adding clickers to reels that don't have them, uh, reels like the Abu Garcia 5,000s. And uh, I asked these guys if they could do that. Yeah, we can. We've done Tell it several times. Uh, of course, that's just milling the plates a little bit, um, but we can. We can add them on the flat sides or, or the dome side reels. So yes, we can add clickers. And we've done a couple of like Daiwas and stuff where we used Abu clickers and made them work and stuff like that. So yeah, a little customizing, but yeah, it's possible. Folks, what I'm gonna do is put some contact information down in the description section of this video where you can reach out to these guys, give them a call, check them out on Facebook. And that way you've got any questions, you've got some different stuff you want done to a reel, they'll be happy to answer it. They respond back very quickly. And I think you'll be pleased with the work that they do. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're gonna like.